Dear friends, this is my tutorial 41 in VASP. So in this tutorial, you can learn how to do so PDOS calculations using HSE 06 hybrid functionals. Okay, so last video that is tutorial 41 I have made for you the band structure calculation using HSE 06 hybrid functional. Okay, so I'm going to use the same calculation results so going to plot this PDOS. Okay. So if you want to know how to do that hybrid functional band structure calculation, please watch my tutorial 40, okay? Then you can see this video, you can easily understand, okay? So what are the things you need to do? So, so this is the actually that folder, I have completed that uh, HSE 06 band structure calculation, okay? So this is the one. So now I'm going to tell you how to get your uh, P, uh, PDOS for this uh, molybdenum sulfate. Okay. So just to copy this path. So go to your uh, Excel terminal. Go to corresponding folder. Okay. That's all. Now you can uh, go to your VASP kit. Enter and you will get this page. Okay, this is the one. You can see is many things. So you have to go to your 11. 11 means density of state. Okay, just type 11. So you will see different kind of things. Okay, so now what we are where we have to go? We have to go 115. Okay, this is 115 projected density of state selected atom and orbitals. Okay, then type 115. Enter so then system will ask okay so which atom you want okay like that so we want the year only molybdenum sulfide is there just we want molybdenum and the sulfide okay just uh, type molybdenum mo okay just type mo okay so if you know the number of the corresponding atom you can also type number so if for example if the molybdenum number is uh, one means just you type one okay that also fine so if you have the, the many molybdenum atom in the system so you have to type the number for the corresponding atom okay that's very impo important you just uh, you must remember this okay so here only one molybdenum is there that's why it's just simply type mo okay then you can enter so it will ask what are the orbital you want s orbital want a p y uh, p z p orbital and d orbital so here i only want d orbital okay just copy this d orbitals just paste it so i mentioned here d x y y z d z square d x is a d x square minus y square orbital okay then you can enter okay so now you want to add any other atom also you can uh, yeah, enter so now i want the sulfur atom okay just to type yes okay so if you want to type number you also type number okay no problem that's already told you know the earlier uh, molybdenum section like that okay just you type yes then enter so for sulfur i want only the p orbital just you can copy this p orbitals px py pz px okay just paste it down then enter that's all so further you want any other atom just you can add one by one by one okay so if you don't want any atom just you can again you type enter so then things go over okay now your p does user file is ready okay so this is the return p does user dat file so you can use this file you can plot your picture easily okay so like that only so if you want your uh, total dos okay so what you have to do again go to vast kit so again type 11 so here you can see different kind of things so if you want to total dos just you can type 111 okay just type 111 and enter it will write okay so here uh, your file is written uh, total dos okay this is the return total dos and uh, it dos file okay this uh, we need only this uh, t dos file okay so now we will plot this uh, two datas okay 
so that's all you will get your uh, data so if, if you refresh this you will get your uh, file this is the tdas file this is the pdas user file so we can download our tdas and the pdas file okay yeah so this is our two file downloaded from that uh, server so we can paste it here so now we will plot our total dos and a p dos plot okay for that just open your uh, origin so first we will plot a total dos just drag the total dos file so select this one go to plot so this is the total dust plot okay so, so this is the big one so we want to reduce that uh, things the x-axis so i already plotted one uh, plot just i will show you that so this is that plot so here i minus 5 to plus 4 okay so just you can uh, here choose minus 5 to plus 4 this range is enough okay so this is 10 also fine no problem then you can mention a 0 so minus 1 is then just put a 0 okay so this is the total dos of the system just you can make it cover increase the size and everything you have to do go to grids you can opposite so here also you can go opposite so you can go to line and ticks you can increase the thickness okay then you can double click this one and you can also increase size black to blue color if you want you can change it okay so here you can remove this yeah, I think we need that one so so we can make increment 5 is there you can make 1 so here also you can make increment 1 here so ok you also make it bold 22 here also bold 22 ok this is a total dos so then what you have to do so you can copy this one paste it so here t dash is there ok so just bold it okay so if you want to mention fermi resonance just you can make it one line there so i will already made just you can copy paste you will get there okay that's all so this is the total dos t dos of molybdenum sulfide okay just So the T dos, okay. This is the T dos of molybdenum sulfide. So you can remove this. Go to properties. Just you can go to print box. You can click none. Apply. Okay. So that's all. So your total dos is ready. Okay. So total dos is ready. So now I will plot. You can save this. T dos. So similarly, you can also plot P dos. So I will show you that one also. 
so we'll go to again uh, so I will plot it here it's a go to origin just to drag your PDAS user that is a projected DAS okay so you can see here this is the molecular dynamo this is the sulfur okay just to select the two column go to plot and plot kind of line you will get this one so here I'll choose 4 to 5 minus 5 to plus 4 okay this range is enough so here also you can change into zero to five okay it's enough uh, just to go to grids apply apply line ticks you can increase to to apply okay so if you want to increase the thickness of this one just to go to independent under line and you can choose black color and you can select two and apply second you go to go to red two then apply okay then you can increase that scale okay so increment value one is there is enough okay so if you this bottom is there it also mention one so then you can make it bold 22 bold 22 so that's all so we are maximum ready so just just you have to change this this small dinner for the arbiter okay so you put italic delete that one sulfur sulfur 3 p arbiter okay so put it on it if you want to can select it and bold it select it bold it and apply okay so if you want to remove that uh, frame just go to frame and none okay okay so that's all we are ready that one so just we will put our uh, energy so everything that's all Does bold it so now we have to keep our uh, Fermi level okay yeah Fermi level so we can put the name of the So this is HSC 06 hybrid functional PDAS. Okay, so we can save this image. Go to file, export, open dialog. So you can rename it.
jpg change the jpg 300 to 600 is enough just you can save it close it so we have one more total dos So actually this is the band gap, okay? This is the band gap. So export image. So our file everything ready, okay? So our TDOS PDOS is ready, okay? So this is the project at PDAS and total DAS of the system. You can also similarly you can do it. So one more important things I want to tell you. So if you want to reduce this uh, density of states, so I will suggest one thing. You can do that one in the incur file. You will get the smooth uh, curves of in the um, DAS. Okay. So that is the important. That is. So what you have to do that is uh, important things. So here you go in the incur file. So open that incur file. So here you can see here. So what I meant sigma here what I mentioned sigma 0 0.05. Okay. So you need to reduce that as 0 0.3. If you give 0 0.3, you will get the smooth curves in the DAS. Okay, that this is a very important. If you give that one, you will get a smooth curve, and also may not have that too too many DAS in that uh, spectra. Okay, so like this, you will get the smooth curves. Okay, so that is the things. Just you can change this into. 0 0.0 uh, 0.3 okay if you uh, to 0 0.3 you will get the very smooth curves in the dos that is the very important things other things are same no need to change anything okay so that's all so thank you for watching my video if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share and also please the bell icon for future video update thank you thank you so much for watching thank you very much for your kind time enjoy